Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oops. Um, yeah, I was just quickly checking my sketches. Um, welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Gothic. We're still in the old camp, and uh, we just got a map and some other stuff from Graham. Now, we also want to talk to Diego again, now that we've finished our first run through the outer circle. Let's uh, see if he can teach us something. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. As you would expect, dexterity is necessary for archery, crossbows and the like. But we're only gonna get some strength, I think. Why? Well... Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. I'm not gonna focus on bows, I don't think. But some strength here. is very important if you want to have any close combat ability whatsoever, regardless of whether you want to go two-handed or one-handed weapons. Now with that little upgrade we should have enough to use the guard sword. You know, the guy that... one of the two guys that we got killed with the uh, orc dogs earlier. Yeah, that was kinda nasty. We still have some skill points left over, and uh, I remember that Drax outside, one of those new camp guys, offered to teach us some stuff about hunting. And he is right, you know, if you want to learn those abilities, it pays to learn them early. Because every animal that you kill from that point onwards, you will be able to loot for special trophies, which you couldn't do otherwise. Well, those scavengers are a bit close to the guards, I mean, I should take care of them now. Before anything bad happens. That worked all right. This sword is certainly useful, isn't it? Two hits per enemy, I think. Well, what the hell did they just kill? That's not a scavenger. It's a blood fly. It can rip out the wings. That's not the only thing you can actually loot from those, but it's the only thing we can loot right now. They are interesting creatures. Much more dangerous than a scavenger, and we're gonna keep our distance from them, I think. A lot of scavengers near Drax. I don't want them to... I don't want Drax and his buddy to kill them, because then we won't get anything other than the meat out of them. So, let's circle around. Oh, there's a lot more scavengers here. Let's circle around and try to kill them by luring them in this direction. Then we can talk to Drax, I think. There's three of them. They look pretty small. Oh, crud. Yeah, they, they got one. I got the other two. Yeah, they are very helpful, of course. They immediately try to help out and kill any threat that might harm you, but... It's not how I wanted it to go. No matter. Hey, Drax. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot. But it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. Right. So, he actually asks, asks for a lot of ore for some of them. Especially... First, let's do that first. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the back to the front. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a killed animal, you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. Shadow beast, that sounds dangerous. What about reptiles? What do I have to observe while skinning reptiles? The only reptiles suited for this purpose are lurkers and swamp sharks. If you slit the skin at the sides, it'll peel off by itself. From now on, you should be able to skin reptiles. Now we don't have any uh, practical exam or anything, but he does explain the basics, at least theoretically, I guess. What teeth? How do I get the teeth? 
The most important thing is to make sure the teeth don't splinter. To avoid that, put your knife near the center of the tooth and lever it out carefully. You can take the teeth of wolves, shadow beasts, and snappers. Snappers? What claws? Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards. And you mustn't pull them out either. Claws can be taken, especially from lizards. From now on, you'll know which creature's claws to take. Good. But you are demanding a lot. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly. But you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. Well, we just did. With that, we've learned all the basic trophy gathering. There are some few additional ones we can learn, but those will come later. And these are all the ones that we can learn from Drax. At any rate, thanks Drax, that's very helpful. Now the um, the scavengers actually do not have anything special on them that could be looted like this. Which is a bit odd. I mean, look at their feet. They seem to have claws. And look at their f heads. Oh god, that's a f bit too many. But basically they have these giant beaks, don't they? Well, that actually worked all right. Uh, you'd expect that you could either take the claws on their feet or, or, the, or the beaks or something, but apparently not. Well, no matter. Uh, there are plenty of other creatures that we can loot, and so it is very useful to get this ability early. Oh, this is the dark forest. I don't want to get in too deep, but we're gonna take care of this small rat. So now we know how to do some basic animal skinning and trophy hunting and whatnot and now that we are strong enough to use this much better sword we need to well learn how to actually use the sword i think because honestly we're still waving it around two-handed like a like an idiot so um and i think i just know exactly who to ask to train us a little bit at least um, your combat abilities come in two tiers. Well, three if you count untrained, which is what we're at right now. The first tier is um, trained, which is when you learn the basics. So at that point, we will stop using it as a two-handed weapon, which is good. Come here, you. I'm in for some more hunting. Good. Hey, that worked! Alright, and uh, with the second tier and one-handed combat, you'll actually be able to do some fancy flourishes of the blade and whatnot. And, yeah, so, so, so I think the most important one to get really early on is trained, because otherwise you won't be able to do anything good with your weapon anyway. Once we've got that, we can decide what else to learn. There are a lot of special abilities we might want to learn including, say, lockpicking. But um, one-handed combat should be up on the list right now. And, well, there is somebody who can teach us this, although I think he also asks for some money, as many of the teachers do. Um, where could he be? Actually, I think he is near the arena, too, so let's let's actually head here. We know where the arena is. It's near to our own home, so we should be able to find the guy. Let's see if we can. If we do, let's see if we can actually pay him for it. Oh, also, we need to go by Snaff. Yep. Hello, Snaff. We got your stuff for you. I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. All right, you're done. Uh, I'm kind of hungry. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. Ah, great. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. 
Sure, but there's nothing left today. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, so from now on, every day, Snap will give us three whole meals, basically. Worth of uh, meat buck ragu. I don't know where he keeps getting the additional ingredients, but still, it's, it's very helpful that we now have a food source, basically. I mean, I, I'm not sure how tasty those are, but it's still good. Also, the uh, arena is a lot more... What the hell are you doing? The, the arena is a whole lot more lively right about now, <laughs> as is this guy, um, than it was at night. We've got some dude training, somebody sharpening his weapons, and one dude just standing around, and this guy glitching like crazy. Hello, glitch master, Scatty. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. Hmm, I want to join the camp. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. Right. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Mm. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp, but business is business. Very pragmatic. I want to place a bet. I want to place a bet. But there's no fight on. The next fight's due in a couple of days. There'll be an announcement. Yeah, I'm not sure that ever happens. Uh, do you train fighters? Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Of course. Okay, so, we have enough skill points to learn one-handed sword level one. It's 50 ore. I think I can afford that. Let's do it. I want to improve my handling of one-handed weapons. That's a good decision. Before you can improve your technique, you'll have to learn how to hold the weapon right. Beginners often tend to hold one-handed weapons with both hands. Now, don't even start getting into that habit. It'll do you no good. Hold the weapon with one hand, blade up, and keep swinging. You have to learn to harmonize your weapon's swing with your own movements. That'll make you faster in the attack. If you keep in mind what I've taught you, your fights will be more elegant and a lot faster in future. Oh yeah, one more thing. Some hits cause more damage than others. As a beginner, you don't stand much of a chance making critical hits. But the further you progress, the better you get. Yeah, good advice there. Thank you. All right. And uh, now we have trained one-handed sword and a 5% critical hit chance, which is better than 0% certainly. Right, how are we holding our weapon now? Are you In one hand. Attack me? Much better. Alright, so, now well, I'm pretty much ready to actually visit some other places. How much ore do I have? Stop that. Not that much anymore, actually. I've spent a lot. But I think we can probably try now. Probably need more ore. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordra. Oh, we've you should looking remember for you. that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Cool. Are you really a courier? Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Hmm, interesting. Show me your goods. We're not going to confront him just yet, I don't Show think. Show me your goods. Choose something. You don't have anything I want, not really. I mean, I want the ore, I guess. I need as much ore as I can get. Uh, let's sell some of this garbage. There we go. Let's talk to him some more later, I think. 
Do any of the of the uh, traders at the market have new stuff? Maybe. Cause that would be useful. Specifically, more ore. I mean. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. I'm only interested in ore, and you don't have any. What, what about Fisk? You have any more ore now? Show me your. You have some ore. That's something at least. All right. I need about 500, I think, if I want to get a better armor, which is kind of my purpose here. And I don't think I'm anywhere close to it. Of course, that's the uh, money that I paid for Whistler's sword. So now I just show me your. Got it back basically. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I want those ten as well. Right, we're not gonna need some more valuables basically. And here's a here's a neat trick. Both the new camp and the swarm balloonies want to recruit people, just as the old camp does. Now the swarm balloonies are particularly interested in new recruits, and both camps will try to get people to come to their camp and uh, try to join up. And uh, maybe we can get a little bit of help from them. What I mean is that uh, they can uh, lead us to their camp. Now, Mordrak has a problem. You have a problem. Indeed. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. <laughs> what makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because I think you're smarter than that, boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We, too, need capable people in the new camp. See? And nobody tells you what to do. That's interesting. Tell me more about that place. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own mine, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. Interesting. Nobody else has portrayed it that way yet. Okay. And uh, what if I wanted to join? And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He is the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. Nah, let's let's go. We don't need to fight. Let's be reasonable. Let's go to the new camp. Okay, follow me. Excellent. And Mordrak is pretty competent. You don't want to fight him. Um, but he's a good guy to have around. Now, he will lead us to the camp and fight everything along the way, I think. He'll pretty much protect us quite well. Which is important, I think. Because honestly, I don't think I could make it there on my own. At least not safely. Didn't I pick those up? I must have missed them. Hold up, Mordrak. I'm trying to get us some mushrooms. It's important. He actually will wait for you. Normally. Where is he? Oh, I ran ahead. Sorry, Mordrak. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a problem. He will wait for you. Wait, what are you doing? Hello? Okay, let's keep going. Where are you going? I thought we are going to the camp. Uh, okay, he's a bit weird. Yeah, so, um, if you lag behind, he'll turn around and wait for you. But if you run ahead, then that confuses the hell, hell out of him. So, I guess we shouldn't do that anymore. Right. Let's, let's go. See if there are any more creatures around. Hope no orc dogs made their way back past the 
checkpoint. Um, yeah, well, some berries. There's still a bunch of scavengers around. Let's be careful now. Um. Wow. Hey, I got one. Now here's the important bit. Uh, unlike uh, if a guard kills something, if Mordrak kills something, you get the XP. So it's a good way to earn some experience early on without any risk, because he will protect you. And he will benefit you. Because, well, I guess he's a nice guy. He doesn't want to fight you, he just wants to, you know, he, I guess he sees some potential in you. And decides that, hey, let's take him to the new camp. And honestly, so far all these stories about the new camp being a place where everybody kills each other randomly and total anarchy looms, I don't think that's the truth either. Let's see here. Okay, we've never been this far away from the old camp, I don't think. Let's be careful. I don't think I need, even need to take out my weapon. Yeah. Oh, he's a good archer too. Nice. Yeah, it's probably for the best that we didn't actually fight him. <laughs> oh, goblin. Ha! That was all me. Kind of. Thanks there, and there's some other guy shooting arrows. Another archer, maybe? Another hunter? I don't know. We'll have to uh, visit him at some later date, I think. For now, we are gonna focus on actually making it to the new camp. Uh, chicken! Lots of chicken, actually. We can now do simple combos like this, which are quicker in addition to generally swinging our sword more quickly, which is good. Hey, I'm here, Mordrak. We can, we can keep moving. Again, I'm, I think I confused him a little bit with my uh, moving ahead. Wait, weren't you behind me a minute ago? I, I guess he's very easily confused. There we go. Oh, another berry bit. Ah. Okay. Oh god. Oh wolf. Never mind. Don't need to be worried. Wolf skin and some teeth. Nice. Here's another wolf. Mordrag, come on. There's a wolf here. Please fight it. Oh no, 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 no. The other guy is fighting it. Alright. The one who does the killing blow gets all the XP, so that's the important bit to remember. This guy right here is kind of like Drax, he can also teach you about hunting, and I think he actually has cheaper prices, but uh, I wasn't sure whether to risk going here. I guess now we could have done it, but it doesn't really matter. Right. It's actually pretty far to the new camp from the looks of it. Lots of creatures along the path, too. Yeah, never mind. These gobos have some pretty weak weapons, but everything helps, you know? Every everything of value can be used, pretty much. Let's move on. Hmm? No, it's locked. Okay, can't, can't loot that. Oh, Maldrag, don't do this. Thanks. I was worried. Can you kill some of these? No? Okay. No matter. We can just keep going, I guess. Alright. Some small lake or something over there? Oh, lots of blood flies. Don't want to get too close yet. Those are surprisingly dangerous. They, ha they are pretty fragile themselves, but they're quick. And they hurt like hell. So be careful. Well, here we are. 
When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. Great. Thanks a lot, Mordrak. And because he decides to stick around in the new camp, we've also solved Th Thoris's problem right now. And this must be the entrance to the new camp. It looks a bit dingy, to be fair. Hello, Mr. Smoking Guard. You're enjoying your cigarette, aren't you? Hi, I'm new here. So what? What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm smoking. <laughs> if you think I'll let you have a drag, forget it. Aww. Aren't you going to try and stop me? Ask me what or something. Nah. That's too much trouble for me. Besides, someone like you won't do much damage in there. He's pretty mellow thanks to his swamp weed joint. What's it like inside? Like always, calm, just a couple of brawls. Mm. Sounds fun. Good. I think uh, next time we're actually gonna visit the new camp. Is it just that weird little wooden shack thing up ahead? Probably not. Guess we'll see. See you then, folks. Bye. Hang on. Never mind going rushing into anything.